are you also struggling to score above 100 in your mocks? However, currently scoring 100, which is not terrible at all, but frankly speaking, it's not good enough to get you a seat either. So this video is not for all those students who are working with a focus to get 99th percentile. In fact, this one is for all those hardworking students, those who find themselves stuck at the score of 100 or maybe 85. So if you are scoring between this range, like between 85 to 100, then one thing is for sure that you are really working day in and day out. Yes, you are working very hard. But despite this hard work, why the score is not improving? Or what is going wrong? Or if you may say that where is that missing you? So stick around till the end as we discuss a step-by-step -step plan to hit 150 plus faster smarter and more sustainably with our four-step method. The steps include concept building, practicing with precision, strategizing mocks and getting momentum. Step 1. Concept building. See, we all know that mocks are very important. But you know what? We do not improve in mocks. In fact, we improve before mocks. Yes, so first of all, you need to work on the basics. However, what most students do? They straight away jump on to giving mock test, thinking that the scores would improve magically. Whereas hope is not a strategy. So what should be the strategy? To so start with, so pick one topic per subject. Yes, just one. Don't overload yourself and work on the concept building of the same. Not just solving more questions randomly. Then start small sets of 10 to 15 questions using a timer. Now this would help you build your speed along with accuracy. So while you are doing this, track down your progress daily. Yes, at least in the initial days, do it until you get into the habit. So track down the chapter revised, the accuracy, the time taken per question, doubts faced and also check the confidence level. Yes, what was the confidence level after solving those questions. Now with this comes step 2 which is practice with precision. Yes, with a clear mind and with a clear strategy. So when you are preparing for your JE exam, you know the three subjects. Physics, Chemistry and Mathematics. These are all different subjects. So each subject requires a different strategy. Even the top rankers are of the view that for every subject you need to have a different strategy. As physics, that prioritizes the understanding of the underlying principles and derivations rather than rote memorization. So for that, revise key formulas daily. Focus on high weightage and high error topics like rotation, modern physics and current electricity. Then use concept based questions, not just plug in ones. For chemistry, strong emphasis should be laid on the understanding of fundamentals and high weightage topics. Like for inorganic, understanding NCRT line by line, highlighting and memorizing the main points is very important. For organic, learn mechanisms, not just reactions. And for physical, solve numericals with proper units and steps. And for mathematics, you need to practice within the time limit with speed and accuracy. And also identify where you lose accuracy. Is it the silly mistakes or wrong methods? Then prioritize calculus, coordinate geometry and algebra. Solve 30 minutes mini test, not endless marathons. So having a clear strategy for each and every subject will help you not only to solve more, but to solve what matters. And with this comes step 3, which is strategizing your mocks. Now what is the way of attempting mocks? Yes, make your own personalized exam strategy. Every year, elite achievers share that not one strategy works for everyone. Try different ways of giving mock tests. Experiment with different sequences. Like some students say attempting physics first works for them, while others attempt maths first. So you have to find out your strongest subject and attempt that first not only on the exam day but during your mock test as that is your training ground. And the sequence that worked for most of the times for you, use that in your exam. As mocks are meant for analyzing your errors and strategies, leaving a scope for redesigning. And further, you can repeat the success formula again and again. 
Now coming on to step 4 which is getting momentum. And how do we do that? By combining mindset with mentorship. Yes, for this purpose you need to involve your teachers. As building a strong relationship with your teachers allow you to leverage their expertise, receive personalized support and benefit from their experience in navigating the complexities of J preparation. Teachers through their academic exposure are a source of comprehensive knowledge and insights that can be highly beneficial in navigating the J journey. So don't wait till the things break. Share your mock scores, discuss with them, share your plans, ask them what should I fix next and how do I do that. They are not just your mentors, they are your navigators. So your teachers or your mentors are your reality check as well as they are your cheerleaders. So one conversation with them can reset your focus, one push from them can reshift your energy. Remember students, your J preparation is certainly going to be solo but not the journey. So if you find yourself stuck at a score of 100, then it's time to step back and reset. And follow this 4 step formula and the score from 100 to 150 is no more a mystery, it's just a method. Best of luck. If you also feel stuck at the score of 100 in your mocks, then share this video with someone who need to restart. Subscribe us for weekly motivation and feel free to contact us.